Hello everyone and welcome back to the lovely Sapien Sons YouTube channel with myself of course James. Hello you beautiful people. Um, I'm going to be playing Mass Effect 1, 2 and 3 back to back. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be lovely for all you lovely people at home and uh, I'm very happy to have you all here. Um, I will be doing the default, uh, you know, Shepard, because I think it's more interesting, a little bit more uh, detailed and all that rest of it. Because if I make myself a custom character, right, and don't get me wrong, that's lovely. <laughs> but the thing is, um, to be fair, and we all agree, if you've played Mass Effect, the custom dude does look dog shit. <laughs> Regardless if you do it from one to two to three, it's just, it's not good. And the thing is, they gave that lovely Polish actor to use his visage or whatever it is and i think that's the way to go because <laughs> i mean come on let's do it um i don't know what quite what i'm going to be doing vis-a-vis -vis the Welcome classes but we're going to go military database oh it's lovely Classified to be here information requested thank you siri thank you right let me go through this little bit secure connection okay secure connection confirmed right okay uh so we're going to enter a new ID, because the thing is, yeah, I, I don't know what classes I'm going to do. I think I'm going to um, go through all the things and like generally try to do it quite well, because in this video, in its first lovely instalment of a Mass Effect, and uh, it's going to be lovely. It's all going to be all good and all the rest of it. It's expansive. We're going to check out the Mass, Mass Effect universe. Um, you know, it's set in the year 2183 or something like that. Um, you know, the Alliance of the Humans, and we're going to go out. There's lots of aliens and stuff like that if you haven't. Um, played this before I highly recommend going out and buying this game uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition because it kind of gives you um, all the DLC well it does actually give you all the DLC it gives you um, all the games one two and three so three games in one and I think it's for like uh, I don't know you probably get it for 50 50 bucks or 50 pounds whatever you use to be fair um, and yeah I don't know if I'm gonna do I don't <laughs> I don't know what class I'm gonna be um, let me just see uh, let me just I don't know if you could see it on PS5 or not, but please log in there you to go. access Sapien your Sun. profile. Let me log in there, love. Thank you. Right. Okay. Now I'm gonna. I want to do the in for this first little episode. I will be doing the intro. So between when I start Warning. and data corruption detected. Oh, corruption. Please oh. reconstruct profile. Okay. No worries. Um, I will Confirm be doing the intro in this. service history. Okay. I'll, I'll let her. <laughs> Sorry, love. Am I, am I interrupting the voiceover from the AI or the uh, interactive Siri we got here? Anyway, um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the intro, and then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, yeah do the intro today. So I'm going to do the uh, um, when we arrive. So I'm making a character here for you guys, and then um, we're going to go through the first little mission, and I think we get to the Citadel. And kind of have that little introduction, and then that's where I'm going to leave it. And the next episode, we're going to explore the Citadel, go off and do that kind of thing. And oh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be fucking awesome. Anyway, um, right, so <laughs> that's the intro done. That's all good, right. We're all cut up and we're ready to go. And uh, it also is the 31st of uh, uh, December now, so um, Happy New Year for a few hours away. Um, yeah, lovely. Um, okay, um, what have we got here? Space, okay. <clears throat> Both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred uh, from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following your parents' footsteps, you enlisted in the age, uh, at the age of 18. Okay, that's pretty standard, pretty, pretty, yeah, no neutral kind of thing, I suppose. Um, okay, colonist, you were born and raised in Mindoir, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. Uh, where you were 16, slavers raided, oh, okay, sla they raided Mindwa, okay, slaughtering your family and friends, you were saved by a passing uh, alliance patrol, and you were listed with the military for a few years ago, okay, that's fine, uh, and earthborn, you were an orphan raised in the, on the mean streets of uh, the megatropolises covering earth, you escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by listing with the, okay, fantastic, who do I want to do, I kind of, I, I am, okay, I am leaning towards earthborn, spacer, I'm trying to think of how much. How much does this garner? How much? How much? Like, uh, what am I trying to say? How much does this go? Uh, I can't. Rack, I can't think of the word. Um, how much does this go into the the choices you make and how people react to you? Because I want to know that. Like, how how interesting. So um. So we got default. We got. Let's go first. We sixty slavers. So pretty harrowed, and we've got kind of a ragamuffin, and we've kind of got the default soldier. I w I'm going to go Earthbomb for this Confirm one. Confirm psychological it's quite profile. 
I like the idea of being a ragamuffin on the streets who kind of was like, no, fuck you. I'm going to go live my life. <laughs> I'm going to join the military. I'm going to be a war hero, which kind of which kind of does fit, actually. So I think I might do the whole war hero thing, maybe. Soul Survivor. Uh, are these a life profile? Psychological pro Okay. Uh, during the, your service, a mission you were on horribly went wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments. Uh, psychological stresses, do, 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 broken, most broken, you survived. You do it alone again. Okay, fantastic, right? Uh, and uh, War Hero, um, early in your career, facing an overwhelming enemy force, you risk your own life to save your fellow soldiers. I, I, I don't mind that. I love the whole. I love the whole hero aspect. It's lovely. Um, but I am like George R. Jar. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I was about to say George Jar Jar Binks. Anyway, uh, George R. R. Martin. Um, Kind of like he's the same as me. I think when I talk to him in interviews, where he's, when I hear him in interviews, saying he likes grey characters. I, I like grey characters too. So I can't, I am looking at the souls of I'm looking at the soul survivor. Uh, but ruthless. Okay, so war hero. Uh, early in your military career, helps some soldiers defeat despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism. Lovely. I love all of that kind of shit. It's lovely. Fantastic. Um, throughout your military career, you have held fast to the one basic rule: get the job done. See, I'm, I'm already liking the ruthless because. I don't know if I'm going to go Paragon or Renegade because I think I'm just going to go with how I feel. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, I'm going to go with how I feel in the moment, and then it's going to go on from there. Um, throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule: get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, brutal, blah 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 blah. Uh, 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 hard ass. Get the job done. Okay, I, I kind of like that. Um, during your service, you might... Right, I'm thinking I'm going to do the Soul Survivor. Confirm military specialization. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, and what's my military? Okay, uh, this is this is the thing I was worried about. I, I do love the idea of being an engineer or kind of like an infiltrator. Oh, I don't know. What do, what do you reckon, my lovely people out there in the wider world? What did you do? I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do, but um, hang on a minute. My dog's just walking past me. You are right, Cassie? Sorry. <laughs> the apologies in this lovely new episode. Do you want to go on bed? Go on. That's it. That's it, Cassie. Just sit. So I do apologise here. Go on. That's it. You're on, my love. I've got a lovely little black Labrador. Be she's beautiful. Hello, my love. That's it. Just chill there. I'm talking to the lovely people. Anyway, sorry. Sorry, Russ. You are right? You're going to make this video last a bit longer, my love. You are right? Do you want to go wee wee? Sir? You're good? Just have a little scratch. You are right. Do apologise. Right. Where was I? <laughs> where was I? Uh, soldiers, engineer... Said, I do love the sniper of I do like being like James Bond type of esque in this. Like space age James Bond. It's fucking beautiful. Go on. Out you go, my love. Go on. You, do you want to? What are you doing? <laughs> I do apologize. Go on. Out, my love. Go on. Go on. Out you go. What love. Go on. Do apologize, everyone. Two, two sex. There you go. All right. I let you out after, my love. All right. Beautiful. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's never ha that's never happened before. She just pushed open my door while I was. I'm at my desk at the moment doing a bit. Of cheese. Anyway, um, she wanted to come say hi. Anyway, I mean, so <laughs> I feel a bit embarrassed now because I, I. Okay, anyway, carrying on. Um, uh, let's see. Infiltrators combine combat tech and stuff like that. Vanguard. I do want to be able to use biotics as well. Uh, so what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna do. I, I will be doing the engine. I think I just love the idea because you do drones back in the day. Do you do drones and you like cast you out and you do this? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I'm just. So we're gonna do engineer. Uh, bonus. Okay, what's the, what's the best thing to do? I think it's assault rifles myself, and I don't. I I don't specifically know why. But if I'm going, I'm not going down the biotic route, so I can't get any boosters to this shit. So I think it's yeah, assault rifle because I think it's just. I think it's better for the way I play. Mm. Yeah, Confirm yeah, yeah, yeah. facial identification. Um, no, 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 I'm good. Yeah, as as we were saying, I love the, I love the look of the Polish actor um, who it was uh, portrayed. Yeah. Confirm, Profile confirm. reconstruction complete. Uh, let me have a look. Sapient Sun Shepherd. Hello. Uh, origins Earthborn. Oh, fantastic! Let's. All right. <laughs> now we're going to get into it. So um, I'm going to shut up. Uh, I think I've talked long enough um, for this little bit. We're going to watch some lovely little cutscenes and oh, get into this beautiful game. Fantastic. Yep, and confirm away. Identification Oh, sorry. There's, there's another little bit. Hang on. There's another little bit. Uh, insanity mode. That's correct. Right. Uh, I want to do it at the hardest difficulty. Do, 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 do. Squad usage. All. Yeah, fantastic. Auto save is on. 
Do I want to do subtitles? Um, no, I'm going to leave subtitles on. Um, and I'm going to leave a comment down below just to see. Do you know what I mean? So if, if, if you think it'd be better for you when you're watching this back, let me know. Go to the... <laughs> anyway, anyway. Right. Cut scene away. Cut scene away. Okay. And uh, thank you very much, Bethesda. Okay. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148... Did I say 2148? Anyway, <clears throat> in the year 2148, explorers, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars and blah blah blah. Mass Effect, yeah. <laughs> Yay, cutscene, the intro, beautiful, lovely. I, I, I generally can't wait to get him stuck in. The Arcturus Prime relay is in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander? Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. The board is green. Approach run has begun. What was that face? That's, sorry. What was that face, Shepard? Hitting the relay in three, two, one. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having him on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Hmm, interesting. I like a bit about the and what these guys think about. And the last time I played this, the last time I played Mass Effect was like 10 years ago, was it? 2020, it's essentially right now, it's like 2024. Um... Jesus, it was 12 years ago, maybe. 2009 it came out, Mass Effect. I remember playing it at my cousin's house for the first time. It was amazing. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, all right. Uh, what are we going to be? What, are we going to be rude? Are we going to be... Um, I, I, yeah, that's. I think I agree, uh, but only an idiot. Because the thing is, I know a few bits, but I don't know what we're going to be. Uh, you're overreacting, you're overreacting. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so what are we doing here? Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get oh. that, Commander? Yeah, you pick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you made him mad, mate. Now I gotta go. Just keep it. <laughs> Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. 
Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Mm, I do like Seth Green as well. Seth Green, I do like Seth Green. He's lovely. Um, I also had to. I actually also had to turn down um, the volume of the sound. The sound of the sound volume, because that. I mean, don't get me wrong. The vibe and everything. I've watched Keanu Reeves like edits where he's vibing to this fucking shit, and it's just. It's too funny. But anyway, I had to turn down the volume. Um, right, here's my here, here's our ship. I say cockpit. Hello, loves. You know what, you're doing fine work, fine work. Absolutely delightful. Look at you, fantastic. Type it away. Beautiful. Um, navigate it, navigate it, Presley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I am indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants to see I'm you. on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, sir, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. Uh, meaning... Yeah, go on. Uh, what do you mean by that? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Hmm. Well, I mean, first of all, the Captain's in charge regardless. So that's fine. I will ask you, see the thing is, I, I kind of know what... Turian Spectres, I want to know more about Turians, because I haven't... I kind of forgot most about the Turians, but the, <laughs> I mean the the visage we just got there because I'm kind of I feel like the, I feel the need to nickname them something like Raptor Face or something. Um, we've got Seth Green, and I think the other dude next to him is um, K uh, something. I can't remember, but he seems like a pragmatist. I think. Um, yeah, give me the deets on the uh, captain. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Uh, yes. I'll look in. I don't want to say, just do your job. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll look into it, yeah. Apparently everyone's on edge going, Ooh, what's going on, eh? I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. You know, I think the most re I think that might be one of the most realistic things, like the soldier's gossip kind of thing. It's quite interesting. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Hmm. Because I think the Spectres do. Um, so you've got the Council uh, of Council Space, you know, the Asari, who we'll run into, and then we've got the Turians, the Salarians, and we're, we're like another, we're another, another species, do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, the Spectres answer to the Council, you see. Uh, but, uh, you know, a few species who kind of uh, are, I don't know, voted in? I'm not totally sure. Anyway, uh, Corporal Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. <laughs> yeah, uh, part of the job, Doc. Yeah. And yeah, relax, Jenkins, because the thing is, I, I, I detest the, the stereotype of the gung-ho warrior. <laughs> the gung-ho like soldiers. Like, relax, man. Take a spliff. You know, relax. It's so cool, man. Don't worry about it. You yeah. need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. <laughs> yeah, all right, calm down. <laughs> I feel like he's the um, the, <laughs> the special needs kid we do like photo ops with or something. I don't know why. Um, Eden Prime. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. 
At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. All right, fair enough. Dude, I, I get that. Abs absolutely, I understand. How that, yeah, it's beautiful, fantastic. And uh, why, are we go why are we going there? Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, just, it's just another mission. Just another day. walk in the park and that kind of shit. Yeah, it's fine. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Mm. I'm going to be a little bit forceful because, I, again, I feel like <laughs> I feel like it's like, do you know what I mean? It's like a, it's like a little boy, you know, wanting to impress daddy. I can do it, and you, you've got to tell him, like, just calm the fuck, down. <laughs> calm the fuck down, you little spaz. All right, you'll get a chance to be the bit. You get a chance to be the, you know what I mean? <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, but uh, yeah, don't play the hero. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. Okay. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, right. Captain. Oh. Uh. Where's the captain? <laughs> uh. Nihilus, what's up, my man? What's going on? Commander Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Oh, fantastic. Can you, uh, uh, by the way, uh, what's his name? Nihilus. No, Alice, any chance you can give, uh, what's his name? Not Geralt River, that's the Wisher 3. Uh, what's his name? Garrus. Garrus. You couldn't give Garrus a call, could you? Get his ass here a little bit quick. Um, yeah, where's the captain? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Hmm. Uh, beyond beautiful, I... <laughs> I don't know if we've been there. I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't know. So what? No, I'm just gonna. I, I wouldn't know. Yeah. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Hmm. <laughs> I don't like that facial expression, you see. I'm not gonna assume it's a threat, because he'd be fucking stupid to, like, threaten. I don't know. I don't know, like, insinuate something? Like, I don't know. I'm not going to presume he's there. I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, why are you asking? Yeah, why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I knew that. Come on. Yeah. Although I don't want to be cocky. No, fuck I you. figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> just, just because, because when I do these videos and these walkthroughs and stuff like that, um, obviously if you're coming across this, you may, you may come across this video because you wish to play it or you've already played it. So, you know, for the benefit, <laughs> for the benefit of people who've never played Mass Effect, I will do the details and stuff like that. Just, just so you know, um, because there's a fine line I think between me saying it because I could sum it up a little bit bit quicker, but I love the idea of like. You're just unraveling as we go. Like I've never played it before. Like I've never played the game before. Like it's my f I'm going to pretend it's like my first time playing it, and that let all the things. Do you know what I mean? Because I think it's more immersive that way. It gives it. I, I don't know. I think it gives it more of a better episodic feel to it, and a more immersive kind of thing. Anyway, anyway, I'm just rambling. So, um, the Protheans. I thought the Protheans vanished fifty thousand years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. 
But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Okay, um, why did we tell the Council? Hmm. There is a there's a rule that says we need we, we I think all the council species the people in council space basically have to kind of share protein stuff I think so um, I'm glad you're here to help uh, you sound worried we don't okay I'm gonna let's uh, <laughs> let's unravel the law why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves you humans don't have the best reputation some species see you as selfish too unpredictable too independent even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Oh, am I? <laughs> All right, okay. It's a little bit of a segue. I like the fact we're just getting straight into it. Commander Shepard. Yes? You're to be the... A uh, Spectre? What? The most elite members of uh, soldiers and military and all that kind of special espionage type of shit? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, yeah, go on. Why? Why? What's going on? What's going on, Captain? Oh, shit. He's just the Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Right. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Oh, shit. Uh... Thank you? Yes. <laughs> okay. You put me in a... Wait, you just said you put me name forward. Yeah, why? Why did you do that? That sounds fun. Because there is this animosity between the Turians and the humans. Because um, when it comes to the law, by the way... So I'll just say this now. I, I know I want to... I say I unravel it with the nuances of, of playing this game like I've never played before. So, you know, people who come... Who've never played it before kind of feel like... You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know how to properly like, explain that. But you, you kind of get my gist. And, um, yeah, so... Um, but having said that, sometimes I think it's easy because... Fuck it. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy. And to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. All right, and uh, that's fair enough. I, I thought he was. The thing is, when I said I didn't want to, I thought he was going to explain. Um, yeah, so um, th I thought there's uh, there's a lot of animosity between um, the humans and the Turians because, like, it's not even that long ago. I think it's like 20 years ago, 25 years ago, or something like that. That um, humans literally <laughs> literally found out that they're not the only people in the. 30 years ago, something really short, a really short time frame from between being the only people in the galaxy to suddenly realizing you're full of like there's a galactic community that you don't even know about so i think that's quite interesting that the turian i mean like our fathers you know what i mean shepherd's dad was probably like shooting like turians in the fucking head kind of thing so it's, it's quite interesting that he put my name for it so it shows it shows nihilus's kind of uh personality and i quite like that i like that writing it's very good okay um yeah cool. i assume this is good for the alliance Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Uh, let's see. Eden Prime, we kind of get the gist of Eden Prime. Um, yeah, tell me more. I think the Protheans... Yeah, tell me more about the Protheans. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Fair enough. Um, and uh, so we know about Eden Prime. That's fine because, uh, you know, we're going to go there anyway. So, um, 
Yeah, but I do want to know about the beacon, actually, before we go. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Okay, yeah, wrong hands meaning... Is that just general? Or... <laughs> Go on. Inform me, oh, Captain Anderson. Go on. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. Okay. Um, and the Terminus system is... The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. Right. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. I know it's... Uh, and that's... Don't get me wrong, that's fine. I, I get that, you know, all of it, like, borders and shit, like, all the crap. But does it not feel when they say that, that like, the Terminus systems are a threat? Because I don't... I want to know what, like, species are in the Terminus systems, because um, are the Batarians... I think we, we have something about with the Batarians, I think, something like that. I can't remember... Anyway, look, regardless of that shit, I'm ready to fucking go. <laughs> Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Fantastic. Bring it up on screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blast it up, my son. Go on, put it on the full screen. All right, okay. Get down! Jesus, what is this? what's the graphics of this shitty GoPro and this soldier? Oh, oh, sorry, he's getting killed, isn't he? Yes, sir. <laughs> Rest in peace. Um, right. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. Fuck. What the? Oh. Oh my God. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Hmm. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Okay. Because see, I don't know why, but for me, it just looks like the hand of God coming down to smite. Engaging stealth systems. Okay. Oh, is that the big bad? Is Somebody so, was doing think... some serious digging here, Captain. Right. Okay. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Can we trust him? You can count. No, fuck that. I just. I want to. I want to go. Yes, sir. No, sir. Three bags full, sir. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Hoorah! We are approaching drop point two. Okay. Shepherd Beautiful. Right. Let's. <laughs> All right. Caden. Uh, who's you? Okay, Richard. 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 You don't look this like Richard. Hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Okay. What the hell are those? <laughs> what the hell are those? Okay, right. We're gonna do the Lancer. <laughs> yeah. Hang on a minute. How, how do I run in this game? No. That's for crouch. How do I run? How do I run? 
How do I, how do I, how do I, how do I run? How do I, oh, okay, X, yeah, fine, okay. That makes sense, yeah. <laughs> right, sorry about that. I was just trying to test, I was just, I'm trying to get a feel for the mechanics again. Oh, look at you. Oh. Okay, come with me, Dick, over here. Um, and I was going to say before, yeah, I think those big things there, the, if I remember right, the Reapers. Oh, they're the big bad we're going to discover. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of uh, the, what I'm going to do. Uh, I think, yeah, so I'm an engineer. Um, let me just, yeah, put your, put your thing in me away. Um, yeah, squad. Let me, yeah, let me have a cheeky little look. Um, so I do have assault rifles there, so I will put one in you. And, oh, what do I want to do? I do, I see the thing is, I was going to go Renegade. I want to go timid. I want to go Renegade, but I also, but I want to go like, because some, I want to go, I'll tell you what, okay, now I'm thinking about this on the go. I'm, I'm going to go Renegade, but there's going to be a few options when I'm going to go, yeah, okay, fuck it, whatever. I think, I think that works better, I think, maybe. Um, okay, um, yeah, toggle that. He looks like a, he looks like a 1950s greaser, I don't know why. Um, okay, overkill, yeah, all good. Fantastic one. Hoorah! Do 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 do. Okay, um. Where are we at? Oh. What's, uh. What's happening, Shepard? Uh, <laughs> is that what? <laughs> is that it? I feel a bit guilty. There to you. There, there we go. There, there we go. <laughs> just, just testing out the aim. Um. Oh no, Jenkins. We, we hardly knew you. I mean, jeez. I, I mean, was he just the default character we were supposed to? Okay. Let me look him over. Rip right through his shields. We're out of chance. No! God! Um. Okay, forget. Fuck me. Forget about him. He deserves his burial. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Okay. Uh, maybe I will go paragon. I don't know. Anyway. Right. Um. <laughs> Over the hills and far away. Okay, so weapons out. Weapons out, Caden. Go on. All right. I know it's. I know it's the first mission, but I. Do, I, I feel right now, like my assault rifle might be a little bit overpowered. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check. Out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. I, I see the thing is, I, I was going quite well so far. So it seems quite, you know what I mean? It's quite good. Um, right, let me see if there's anything to grab around here. Oh, oh there you go. Medical kit, medical kit. Okay. Hang on. Oh, fuck me. Look at you burnt to death, mate. Rest in peace. Jesus. <laughs> fuck me. Who, who's the enemy here? The re big reaper fucking. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a lovable little racist, Ashley Williams. Oh, see, oh, see, that's why, uh, that's why Jenkins has to die, is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are they doing to that dude? Oh, oh my god. Uh, fuck. Right, yeah. Yeah, run, run, Ashley, run. And now it's, uh, it's Commander Shepard. Come to the rescue. Team America, fuck yeah, coming through to save the motherfucking day, yeah, Jenny. Oh, hang on. Oh, there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to work, I will have to work on my aim. Gunnery okay. Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Uh, yes, and we're on a I need a status report, now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. 
right. So, they're... Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. Oh, okay. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Hmm. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Uh, all right, fantastic. Um, I don't really want to. I don't want to. I don't want to be forced to bring you with me. So I'm gonna, no, you can stay. You can stay fucking here. I'm not taking you with me. Lieutenant Olenko and I will take care of this. Yeah. Let me come with you, sir. The Geth slaughtered my unit. Give me a chance to get even. She knows the area, Commander, and we could use the extra firepower. Oh god. <laughs> fuck me, Ke Ke Keiko. What the fuck? Caden, oh, I'm gonna call you Keiko, like fucking uh, O'Brien's wife from um, Star Trek. <laughs> like, just, like, you sound like a fucking pe Don't simp for him, love. Don't simp for the uh, Ashley Williams. Um, fine, come with us. Fuck if after a oh, fuck me. <laughs> it's like the Marvels all over again. Let's let's replace Jenkins. Let's let's get a girl in there. Make her let make her a person of color. Make her a woman of color. And make her lame. Make her gay lame. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Just have to add that there. Right, come with us, love. Go on, let's fight these fuckers. Let's Just go. don't forget who's in charge. Understood, Commander. You give the orders and I'll follow them. Uh, right. So just just for everyone at home, um, because again, I could tell you, but I want to let I want to let them tell you. Uh, Geth. Tell me about the Geth. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Vale. Nobody's really heard much from them since. All right, fair enough. Um, before the... Uh, whatever. Um, the Beacon? Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Whoa. Okay. Fuck me. I mean... <laughs> I mean, let's be real. I mean, we did do faster than light travel pretty efficiently because of the, the Mars... Uh, Mars... What do they call them? Relic? I don't know. What I, if, it's, if it's ruins, right? You know, like ruins. You know, like ancient Rome. What if what what are they called if the ruins are subsequently more advanced than you are? I, what is that word? I'm, I'm, I think in, I think in humanity, I think in Mass Effect there has to be a word for that, and I and I don't know what it is. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because I, I think it's just a disconnect maybe between. Anyway, right, I'm just about rambling. Um, and the scientists. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Uh, okay, Nihilus, you probably didn't see him. Gath, Beacon, before the attack, I don't care. Right, good. Move out. Hoorah. Right, uh, and do you have, let me just go there, squad. And you're going to do that, fantastic. Because the thing is, I know I know, I could level them up to be like all meta and all, all that kind of shit, but I just, I haven't got any interest. <laughs> I want to have fun, I want to have fun. Um, right, okay, hoorah. Seeing as I'm overpowered with this assault rifle, I'm just going to... Right, how do I... Okay, that's that. How do I... Circle? No. There we go. That's... Explode. Explode. Are you fucking kidding me? That was... How long was that fucking grenade? Uh... <laughs> Let me see if... I... I'm going to test one of these uh, abilities out. Uh, nope, that's, uh, let's see, what have we got, what have we got? Overload, sabotage. Oh! Oh, that is good. Cause it, okay, yeah, because since I'm an engineer, I can get more tech abilities to, um, fuck with these mecha these robots and shit. That's quite interesting, okay. Um, what have we got here? Dig site, investigate. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here, it must have been moved. By who? Our side or the gas? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. All right. Uh, yeah, let's, let's let's fucking go there. Then. Make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. All right. Okay. All right. And uh, anything to grab here? Change oh, great. Where's Shepard. Craig? There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for okay. you there. 
All right. Uh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I'll come see you soon, Manny, wherever you are. <laughs> I love the f I, I love the fact that I can't speak back to him. Like, okay, I'll see you there in ten like minutes or something. Camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh, I remember these. <laughs> this 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 version's like oh, uh, this game's alive. version of the fucking zombie. What did the Geth do to them? Okay. So what it does is it strips you of your like organs and all that kind of shit. Changes your body into a texture. Excuse me. Oh. Okay. Overload. See, thing is, I I swear last time I go to where where yes. It, it's, it's weird, but you have to aim at the, the hit. Aim at the hit. Because it doesn't, it doesn't really work when you shoot the head. I, I, I don't know, I don't know why. Um, but just, just remember that for future reference. <laughs> aim for the should have aimed for the head. No, 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 the fucking hips, bro. The fucking hips. Um, right, Ashley, you good? Fantastic. Uh, Keiko, let's fucking do this, right? Um, okay, we got some shit down there, and we got you up here. Okay. Um, Right. It's closed. Security locks engaged. Ba, 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 da, da. Okay. This... <laughs> what a weird fucking unlock sequence in this game. Though. Uh, right. Humans. Thank the maker. Hello. Hurry. Close the door before they come back. Uh, right. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Um. <laughs> okay, so again, Nihilus. No, I already know about Nihilus. I already know about the beacon. I will ask about. Oh, I will ask about the attack, though. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Fair enough. Um. Okay, that's fantastic. I'm glad, you know, I came here fucking, you know, um, what's the word from that movie? Um, I came to, I came to chew bubblegum and kick some ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. <laughs> I can, I can shut him up. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta do that. Say good night, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Oh my God! What Fuck did you me. do? <laughs> that might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. Look, it's not my fault we had a glass jaw, okay? And the thing is, I don't want him popping off and being all fucking crazy. Because these fuckers do weird shit. <laughs> I could just imagine he turns up one day and goes, The Reapers! They are my gods now! I must serve them! Or some fucking bullshit. Anyway, uh, yeah, he had it coming. <laughs> it was only a matter of time until he did something crazy. And dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Okay. All right, um... Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much, and I'll see you later there, my love. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. And to you. Okay, uh, let's, uh, vamoose. Okay, so we've got this one. All right, we're going to go in here too. Where we got? Uh, heavy armor. I'll save that for Ashley. She's a soldier, isn't she? Um, light armor. Oh, Turian armor. Fantastic, okay. Not why there's Turian. Tur tur it is Turian, isn't it? Like, Centurion. Yeah, okay. Um... Don't know why there's that armor here, but um Oh hello. Saren. Nyla. 
Yes. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Okay. Um. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> That's a bit dark, isn't it? Just hearing the gunshot go off in the background with some dude who's got like fucking. What, what was that, all that stuff oh, popping out of his fucking it's head? It's wait, wait, oh fuck. <laughs> I, I nearly fucking missed you. Look at you, you fucking crack. Just. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, hang on. Whoa. Bye. Bye. Fuck me. Okay, um. <laughs> hang on. Oh, hang on. Hang on, what's that? <laughs> I was about to say something there, but I was like, okay, I'm just getting overwhelmed. Fuck, fuck. Okay, hang on, fuck. Okay, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, it's like, fuck, I, I, I like humanity. I think we've got good, we're going on, you know. I mean, we, we've got good spirit and balls and shit like that, and a few technologies, but how the fuck are we, how's humanity gonna deal with that big fucking crayfish looking cunt? Like, fuck, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll give it a good fight, but fuck me for that. Uh, right, shoot over there. Alright, use you. Sup? No, hang on. There we go. No, 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 no. I'm not you there. There we go. Is he good? Is he down? Okay, um... Anything that we can find here? Nothing too bad. Good shooting, by the way, guys. Thank you. Ashley, uh, Keiko, fantastic. Oh, good. Lovely. All right. Okay, good. Just double-check there's no anybody's about here. Yeah. Okay, right. What's in here? Square, square, triangle, X. Da, 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 da. Everybody stay next? calm out da, da, there. Da. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? I, <laughs> I don't know, love. Uh, tell me Nobody moves a doing. muscle until we know who you are. Nice going, Cole. I told you we should have stayed hidden. It's okay. We're all on the same side here. We're just farmers. We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. Uh... Right. Um, so your farmer is hiding out. Okay, yeah, fantastic. And yeah, details about the attack. Go on. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Fair enough. They pro yeah, I, <laughs> if, they, if they had a fighting chance, all the rest of it... I kind of feel like they're dead and been turned into those husk things, you know, where they've basically been like humans in that weird uh, spike thing. <laughs> that I'm very, I'm very, I'm very specific. I, I've got a fantastic vocabulary where I just say things and <laughs> this. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that thing. So um, they're probably dead. They're probably dead. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. Okay. Right? Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I don't mean to be rude, but I think that might go against the Geneva Convention. But I also think that the, the fucking whatever... What is that thing, by the way? Because it looks like a crayfish. It looks like a prawn. <laughs> Am I the only one who thinks that looks like a fucking uh, purple lobster? Just <laughs> who apparently can like send out these like vibes and like frequencies to fuck up with your head. No, I just think it's anyway. I just think it's weird. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Hmm. All right. Okay. Um. And the beacon. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. 
All right. Um. All right. Uh. Bye, man. I have to go. Hey, Cole. We're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake. You gotta learn when to shut up. Uh. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Can he, I couldn't even tell you. All right. Uh, I don't like being lied to. If there's something you're not telling me. Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Ah. Ah. Uh, okay. Um, not going to be lying to the lovely viewers. Um, either this guy stops, gives me that shit, or I'm going to start firing. <laughs> I'm going to shoot you, fool. Give me your wallet. Oh, anyway, all that shit. Anyway, that's, so that's why you're in here, then. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. All right. And, oh, okay, my first little renegade option. Fantastic, yeah. All right, uh, you're holding out on me, motherfucker. Give me your wallet and your gun. I know that kind of shit. Yeah, cool. I'm only going to ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh, no, no wait, I just remembered. I, I just had it in my pocket. You might as well take that too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, oh, come on. Snitch. Well, fuck off you are. You're a fucking smuggler. You just snitched on yourself, mate. Get fucked. Go on. Is he worth dying over, really? Come on. Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? Powell. His name's Powell. No honor among thieves. That's all I know, really. So let's try to keep things friendly from here on in, okay? No, you're good. Just fuck off now. <laughs> I'm done with you. Go on. I have to go. Good luck. Is that it? Just, I have to go? Uh, Stinger and the combat sensor. Oh, that's lovely. Um, and I'm coming to the end of my lovely little session. Um... Yeah, what, what more can I say? It's been quite, it's been fantastic that this this first little hour of the intro, we created our character. I kind of did my own um, uh, little intro and all that kind of stuff. I, I, I'm trying to do my best, guys, and stuff like that to not talk too much and like overthink shit. But, but I'm, as I say, I'm like I'm a verbal thinker. Do you know what I mean? I have to think out loud and kind of process everything I'm doing at the moment. So just let you know that. Um, and yeah, so this is gonna I'm gonna do this in two parts. So part one and part two, all that kind of stuff. Um, I've got quite a lovely look. Um, thumbnail for this kind of playthrough um, up until you know for each one and that kind of thing so I'm gonna be doing that um, I will be going live uh, shortly to do the whole Gwent thing for the Witcher 3 um, but yeah thank you very much for watching this and um, stay tuned out there in the wider world thank you very much for coming across my lovely stupid fucking little videos of a game and that kind of thing and all that kind of stuff and, uh, and I do appreciate every single time you guys come along and just watch the video I just I just upload for the, you know I mean for the for well, you know, just as something to, like, be interested in, that kind of thing, and all the rest of it. Anyway, thank you very much for that. Um, I hope you come and uh, check out the next video um, of the part two of the lovely intro, where we kind of go into the spaceport and uh, kind of do all that kind of stuff and see what's going on, really. And then kind of head off to the uh, Citadel. Um, so, yeah, uh, without further ado, thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.